Isn't the Mardi Gras fantabulous, Popeye? Yeah, Olive. Except for three things. One, I can't decide what costumes to wear. Two, your mask hides too much of your beauty. Oh. <laughs> you flatter me, you. Uh, what's the bird thing? Pluto. He always messes up everything. Oh, well, Pluto will never recognize us in costumes, Popeye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, Anna. So I better get me a costume. Oh, hurry up. Then let's watch the parade. Swell. I love watching parades. Pretty goyles, danskers, and... Hey! Popeye, let's move over here. Oops. Oh, Popeye, why'd you decide on a gorilla costume? You muscle man. <laughs> That's me. Oh, my gosh. Some apes monkeying around with me goyle. Let's look here. Hangs around here for a while. Look, Popeye, Mardi Gras balloon. Comes on, I love. I'll get you one. This armor suits me fine. I just can't decide which one, Popeye. Hey, who are you? A night for Olive to remember, balloon brain. Ha ha ha. Boys, now I knows who you. Oh. Uh oh, Popeye, you changed again. Oh, that costume's perfect for you, since you're already my knight in shining armor. <laughs> oh, and a Popeye balloon, too? How sentimental. Uh, just a sec, Olive. The face that needs blowing up. <laughs> uh oh, it's floating away. Whoops, isn't it, though? Oh, will you get me another one? Oh, uh, forget the balloon, Olive. You got me. Goodbye. Some cotton candy will cheer you up. But it looked just like you, Popeye. <laughs> now to teach his blue to a lesking for making me think me sweetie was pickle. Sweets for the sweet. Oh, no! <laughs> Excuse me, Olive, while I exterminate a fly pesk. This old bong is gone. <laughs> Bullseye! What's come up? Oh, that fisty cupping in front of a lady, eh, gentlemen? Sure. Points around so your backs to the lady. Popeye, you're a true jet. As well as being a perfect pigeon. <laughs> Pluto, you're giving me a headache. Now for a fast food with some quick dry and liquid iron. <laughs> This'll hold you. And hide you from olive, too, you little sniff. Oh, poor Olive. She was counting on me to escort her to the costume contest. Don't worry, Iron Man. You will, except I'll be you. I got to save Olive from that phony baloney. Uh, hi, Olive. It's me, Popeye. Uh, that's easy to see. Come on, we gotta hurry to the costume contest, even if you don't have a costume. So I'll win first prize for sure. <laughs> Well, look at the goofiest. Goofy? Oh, why, Popeye, you're so gorgeous and tall for, uh, being such a short person. Oh, dear, I guess my eyes haven't cleared up. This predicament is upset. Up. 
a way, Now to jump to a conclusion. Now, how's about a little game of lasso the bull? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No more games. That means you has loins your lusting? Yeah. Okay, Pluto. Goes to the top of your class. <laughs> and to the bottom. of the mantra. Thanks, Colour, but I has to share the credit with me co-star. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks a bunch. All right, boy. Your show's over now. We can continue the costume contest. I don't believe it. Cheers up, Blubberoo. You won the prize. Yeah, for wearing the ugliest, most ridiculous costume. I'm not even wearing a costume. That's why you won. <laughs> uh, well, you sure know how to hurt a guy. A mug for a mug. Sorry you didn't win no trophy, Olive. Oh, who cares, Paws? When I look in your eyes, I know I won the prize. My Popeye, my sailor man. <laughs> But this is all junk food. Too much sweet cake, too much candy, too many sugary drinks are a no-no. After a sensible meal, desserts is okay. But too much junk food will ruin your teeth. Now he tells me. Too much sweets and disaster, you'll lose your teeth faster, says Popeye the Sailor Man. energy-saving cross-country race will begin in Boston with $100,000 and a free gallon of gas going to the winner of this energy savings contest. Oh, Popeye, how exciting! I'll say, Olive. Now to knock Olive off her feet with these flowers and candy. Huh? Nuts. Popeye, beaten my time again. I'll get the phone, Popeye. Hello? Uh, yes, this is Ms. Oil. Uh, this is Professor O.G. Wattersnarthel, brilliant inventor and freelance genius. Oh, hello, Professor. What can we do for you? Professor Wattersnarthel, what does he want? Now, oh, get right to the point. You must have heard about the cross-country race. Oh, yes. Well, I want to enter my latest invention, the watermobile. Oh, my, Professor. You might win first prize. And that's some prize. One hundred thousand dollars plus a gallon of free gas. Two priceless treasures. <laughs> and I deserve them both. The watermobile cannot lose with my secret formula. I need someone to drive, and you two are the only ones I can trust with the job. We'll be there in a flash. Take that half a flash. Oh, Popeye! You made it in record time! Wow, Popeye, you sure have put on weight. That's from eating fat spinach. Here, sign this contract allowing me to own or uh, to drive the watermobile in the race. Uh, but shouldn't I read it first? Read it later. It's a long trip to Boston. Uh, but, but, but. So hurry up. I have to get moving. Thanks, Pigeon. Or, uh, Professor. Uh, but, but, but. Here's your copy. 
Well, I'd better be off. Hey, wait! But I didn't tell you about the secret fuel. Tank reach full. That's a start. Uh, but what about me? You better stay here. I'll send your share of the loot. Never. Now you can read the fine print in the contract. <laughs> oh, I've been bamboozled. Uh, there's the professor's house. But what's that on the road? Looks out, Anna. Wow, it's the watermobile. No, it's the Blutomobile. Time to fly the friendly sky. <laughs> Hangs on, Olive. Olive, oh, my. am I glad to see you two. Ludo just left with my watermobile for the cross-country race after I signed this contract with him. Let me look. Looks like you've been Ludoed, but good, Professor. Oh, it all happened so fast. And now I've signed the way all right. You sure have. If Bluto wins, he gets the prize and the watermobile. Well, one thing he didn't get is my secret fuel supply. Without it, he won't make it halfway cross country. These little green pills is your secret fuel? That's right, Popeye. One of these pills and a tank full of water will take any car hundreds and hundreds of miles. Oh, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go after Bluto and catch him. I got a better idea. Let's use these pills and beat them. Will they work in my car, Professor? Well, yes, but your car is now a boat. She's got wheels, Lansky. Let's fill her up with magic fuel. All aboard! Popeye, wait! I christened the... the Popeye-mobile. <laughs> Your attention, please. The first vehicle and driver to reach San Francisco using the least amount of fuel will win the grand prize. These chumps haven't got a chance against my Brutomobile. Huh? It's Popeye and his crew coming to join the race. I will cut the ribbon and supervise the race from above in my hot air balloon. And as I sail along, I will... Come on, let's get this show on the road. And there they go. Look out, Popeye. They're headed this way. Hey, that's changing. No, that's Pluto. Which is the same thing. San Francisco, here we come. I'm all of the sailor girl. Join a winner! Niagara Falls next stop, chums! <laughs> Look, Popeye! Bluto's helping us! Yeah, but helping us in the what? Let's see now. Aha! Rocket booster! Hey, Popeye! Need a lift? <laughs> oh, yeah! We're flying! Amazing, folks! Pluto is actually towing his nearest competition. It's a rare example of sportsmanship. Yeah! Poor sportsmanship, that is. The Popeye Mobile is going over the fall. I always wanted the honeymoon at Niagara Falls, but this is so sudden. Stay tuned for more treasure hunt later. Uncle Popeye, how come you smoke a pipe? I don't smoke it. I just keep it to toot. Oh, you think you're tough, do you? Well, I challenge you to a race. <laughs> What's the matter, young fella? Smoke in your eyes? So don't do no smoking, then you won't be choking, says Popeye the Sailor Man. Whoa, whoa. Time for 
Francisco, it looks like the Blutomobile is all alone. But wait! Yes, it's Popeye coming up fast from behind. No fair. He must be using spinach. Well, look who's talking there, you cheat. But I'm supposed to cheat. I'll give him the air. And it's a race to the finish, folks, as both crafts approach San Francisco Bay and the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. I can't shake the little squirt. Look out for the bridge. <laughs> Uh-oh. A dog. This is where I get off, Tubbo. Ow, oh, boy. Hangs on, Olive. <laughs> Jumps, Olive. Ooh, well, stop. And you'll have a hard time catching up. Uh-oh. Out of fuel. Oh, no! Alcatraz! Hamburgers to go, please. Oh, Popeye, what a welcome. I think I'll leave my heart in San Francisco. I got a better idea, Olive. Let's just leave hard-hearted Bluto here. 
Says Popeye the Sailor Man. 